Hello everyone! Today we will explore the best tourist attractions in Cide Maravilhosa, the magical city of Rio de Janeiro. If you have never been here, get ready, because what we are about to discover will leave you overwhelmed by the splendor of this city. Blessed by nature, Rio de Janeiro possesses massive cultural, architectural, and natural heritage, blending to create a picture full of color and vitality. From white sand beaches to lush green gardens and unique architectural works, Rio always makes every visitor feel nostalgic and not want to leave. So what are you waiting for? Let's explore the top 10 tourist attractions in Cide Maravilhosa with me. Please like and subscribe to the channel to update other interesting videos about Rio de Janeiro. Let's start. 10. Copacabana Beach. The first location on today's journey will be one of the most famous beaches in the world. Copacabana Beach. Located along the Atlantic coast with a length of 4 chem, fine white sand, and a famous coastal road with iconic black and white wave lines, Copacabana has an extremely vibrant and charming atmosphere. Here, you can comfortably sunbathe, participate in marine sports activities, or relax at the system of bars and restaurants along the shore. In particular, Copacabana Beach is also the venue for many major cultural events, such as the Grand New Year's Eve celebration and Brazil's famous Carnival Festival. Therefore, Copacabana Beach is a place not to be missed for those who love the sea and want to learn about the colorful culture of Rio de Janeiro. If you love this beach, please comment number 10. Nine, Christ the Redeemer. The second place that you should visit when coming to Brazil is Christ the Redeemer. The massive statue of Christ the Redeemer rising above the city of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, is one of the most famous symbols in the world. This colossal statue of Christ stands 98 feet high atop Corcovado Mountain, offering visitors stunning panoramic views of the city and surrounding region. Recognized as one of the seven new wonders of the world, the statue of Christ the Redeemer has become a symbol of peace and Christianity attracting millions of visitors each year to admire its monumentality and extraordinary technical achievements, often in its construction. This is not only a place of spiritual significance, but also a cultural symbol not to be missed for those who visit Brazil. Eight, Ipanema Beach. Temporarily leaving the statue of Christ the Redeemer, we come to the world famous Ipanema Beach. Ipanema Beach in Rio de Janeiro. Brazil is truly one of the most famous beaches in the world, not only because of its breathtaking beauty, but also because of its excitement and cultural significance. With its golden sand and blue water, Ipanema attracts thousands of tourists to sunbathe, surf, and play volleyball. The beach is divided into distinct areas or postos, 
each with its own atmosphere, from peaceful family areas to vibrant areas with the LGBTQ plus community. Standing on the legendary Arpador Rock, you will admire the beautiful sunsets in Ipanema. And around the beach, the neighborhood is also vibrant with countless restaurants, bars, and shops, creating an authentic Rio de Janeiro experience. If you found this video useful, please click like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the latest videos. Seven, Sugarloaf Mountain. After enjoying the relaxing beauty and stunning scenery of Ipanema Beach, continue exploring the site where you can witness the breathtaking panorama of Rio de Janeiro's coastline that is the Sugarloaf Mountain. Sugarloaf Mountain in Rio de Janeiro. Brazil is one of the famous symbols of this city. The 396 meter high mountain rises above the bay, giving visitors stunning panoramic views of Copacabana Beach, Ipanema Beach, and the Christ the Redeemer statue. You can reach the top of the mountain using a two-story cable car system, admiring wonderful views along the way. The summit of Sugarloaf Mountain is also a popular place for climbing and hiking, thanks to the mountain's unique beauty and distinctive shape. With its natural beauty and iconic role, Sugarloaf Mountain deserves to be one of Rio de Janeiro's most famous landmarks. Six, Arpador Beach. Leave the Sugarloaf Mountain views behind and head to picturesque Arpador Beach. Located between Copacabana and Ipanema in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, is known for its beautiful sunsets and excellent conditions for surfing. The small, 500-meter-long Arpador Beach is marked by a giant stone wall that offers you a bird's-eye view of the neighboring coast, providing an ideal spot to watch the sun sink into the horizon. Surfers gather here to enjoy the waves, while beachgoers and sunbathers enjoy the peaceful beauty of the water. Whether you want to take in amazing views or simply relax, Arpador Beach is a must-see destination when visiting Rio. If you plan to go to this beach, please comment number six. Five, Seo Conrado Beach. If crowded Copacabana and Ipanema beaches aren't your thing, then Seo Conrado Beach is definitely the ideal choice. Surrounded by hills that separate the main southern area of Rio de Janeiro from the Barra Tijuca area. You can easily get here even though this beach is more remote than other city beaches. This beach is famous for its active paragliding, where adventurers can take off from nearby Pedra Bonita and slide down the soft sands.
The area is also popular for its surfing conditions, providing consistent waves that appeal to surfers of all levels. With golden sands and dramatic views of the Dwa Ormos mountain range, Sao Conrado offers a beautiful setting for sunbathing, swimming and enjoying Rio's natural beauty. Four, Arail du Cabo. Leaving the vibrant energy of Esso Conrado Beach behind, venture east along the stunning Brazilian coastline to the picturesque seaside town of Arreal do Cabo is a beach lover's paradise, thriving fishing village and wildlife spotting wonderland, all rolled into one. Its natural beauty ranges from a coastline of fine, sugar-like sand and perfect turquoise water to lagoons, rolling dunes and hills clad in Atlantic forest, often called the Brazilian Caribbean. This coastal paradise is famous for its ideal sightseeing and diving opportunities with colorful marine life and underwater caves waiting to be explored. The pristine white sands of Forno Beach, considered one of Brazil's most beautiful, and the majestic cliffs of Pontal do Adelaia, offer breathtaking landscapes and spots for relaxation and rest. Rolling dunes and hills clad in Atlantic forest, often called the Brazilian Caribbean, Three, Favet. Leaving a rail du Cabo, we will continue our journey with the next location, where you can see the strength and creativity of the residents who have turned these neighborhoods into vibrant centers of art and music. Favelas are informal settlements in Brazil, often located on the outskirts of major cities such as Rio de Janeiro and Esso Paulo. Despite struggling with poverty and limited services, people here still maintain their unique cultural identity and admirable community spirit. When you enter these vibrant slums, you will clearly feel the resilience and creativity of the residents. This is where Brazil's great contributions to culture were born, especially music and dance, with its roots in samba and funk. However, these areas cannot avoid the challenges of crime and underdeveloped infrastructure, making life extremely difficult for many people. Two, Botafogo Beach. The next place we want to introduce to you is Botafogo Beach, located in Rio de Janeiro's Botafogo neighborhood. This attractive stretch of coastline offers a wonderful blend of natural beauty and urban vitality. Looking out from the shore, you will admire the romantic views of Sugarloaf Mountain and Guanabara Bay, creating a fascinating picture of nature. Although the water quality is not suitable for swimming, the beautiful walking path along the beach still provides an ideal space to relax, exercise, or cycle, helping you fully enjoy the beauty of this place. One. Flamengo Park. The ending location of today's journey that we introduce to you is Flamengo Park. Flamengo Park, 
also known as Atero do Flamengo, is a large public garden located in downtown Rio de Janeiro, providing a cool, airy green space for you to escape the bustling pace of city life. Designed by famous landscape designer Roberto Berla Marx, this large garden is a harmonious combination of nature and urban space. With beautiful gardens, modern sports facilities, and many exciting cultural activities, Flamengo Park attracts the attention of a diverse range of visitors. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the 10 best places to visit in Rio de Janeiro. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let us know in the comments which spot you're most excited to visit. Safe travels and see you in the next adventure. Congratulations on watching our video if you liked it and want to see more travel adventures from around the world. Hit the circular subscribe button in the middle of the screen. Be sure to check out our other videos on the left or right. See you on our next journey.